Hello, welcome to the video demo for the AI22 harmonic mixer, available now at AISynthesis.com and other fine retailers. The AI22 is kind of a Moog CP3 style mixer. The CP3 was part of the Moog modular system in the 60s and 70s. It was pre-IC technology, um, so it, it doesn't use an IC like the O2 mixer or other mixers you're likely to come across. It's completely discrete. It uses transistors um, and other components that are all exposed. So on an old discrete mixer like the Moog CP3, there's character added. A lot of times they're not reproducing the waveform perfectly like an AIO2 or other IC-based mixer. Uh, right now we're going to be monitoring through the low-pass gate, which is turned down, because um, we're going to be hearing a lot of waveforms today. Uh, so we're going to get the triangle output of the AI11 VCO going into the data, routed into the harmonic mixer, and we're going to compare the waves. So typically, you'd have this little trimmer, like here it's a bias knob, on the back of a CP3, and that would adjust how good or how bad it is. I decided to put that little trimmer on the front panel. Let's abuse it. We're just in VCA mode at the moment. The green waveform is the pure AI11, and the red waveform is the harmonic mixer. You can see as we drive it, we get rectification. And we can play with the bias to get different forms of rectification, and even banding at extreme levels. So let's get that looking more like a regular triangle wave. And now we'll go into filter mode to see what it sounds like when those rectified waveforms are filtered. A lot of different tonal possibilities from a regular triangle wave. We'll get that set and look at some other waves. You'll notice that you get the most character rectification on waves that are curvy and less than ones that are straight. Now we'll go back into VCA mode, and we'll look at a pulse wave. A pulse wave, because it's just up and down, doesn't give us a whole lot to play with harmonically, so you can make it louder or softer, but not much is going on. Here's a saw wave, and it's kind of in between. And we can rectify that. At extreme settings, it's almost like a phasing banding effect. And here's a sine wave. You can see these little cupid bows at the top and bottom. Before we get into rectification, banding and phasing. Okay, filter mode. compared to a sine wave. There's a lot more tonality going on that you can filter out and get interesting harmonics going on. So let's see what it looks like with non-analog waveforms. Here's our friend the Morphing Terrarium from Synthesis Technology. In VCA mode, this is what it sounds like. A lot of tonal variations there that we can do. And then our friend the Telharmonic, aka the Bagpipe Machine. I'm going to turn this into kind of like a Doom thing going on. Here's what it sounds like VCA mode. 
Now, if you see F mode, we're going to filter it down and then add gain and rectification. You can hear that the filter's resonance function is getting a lot more harmonic content to grab onto. Let's go back to the triangle wave and we'll actually look at the harmonics. So we'll make it go back to a triangle wave, a regular, nice, clean, behaved triangle wave, non abused. And we'll look at the spectrum analyzer. And so this is channel one. This is just the 11 VCO, not processed. Now, channel three, this is the harmonic oscillator, and it's the same not a lot of harmonic content, which is as it should be. But then as we increase gain, bring in the rectification, we can see all these harmonics. And when we adjust the bias, we can see all of that harmonic content changing and being emphasized across the spectral band. We're going to just turn this off and look at what we can do with some control voltage. Go into the sine output, a uh, lower frequency, and let's match that sine wave. Wrong mixer there for a second. Cool. So now we've got our sine wave. And it's the 11, so it's a bipolar sine wave, plus 5, minus 5. And I can take that bipolar wave and make it unipolar, up or down. So, 0 to plus 10 volts. Or 7 or 8 or whatever's going on on this scale. That's the AI-22 harmonic mixer, available now at AISynthesis.com and other fine retailers. As a fully built unit, a kit, PSP panel set, or just as a PCB. Thanks for watching.